Hey guys, it's Arshan. Welcome to our video on changing business for downturns. Now, if you're a business owner, you're a business leader, you may well realize that we are on the verge of a potential downturn, right? Things have changed drastically in the economy and in the world, and we may well be in a situation where we end up in economic disruption. And so the time to start adjusting your business is now. Uh, not later. You want to at least be running what-if scenarios today, uh, in this week, in this month, as soon as you get your management team together. You want to be doing the what-ifs for the downturn, right? You want to be talking about how could we be ready, how could we be positioned, uh, what would we have to change, what would that look like? And for many businesses, what I would encourage is that you run the what-if scenarios and then you put the plan on the shelf, right? You don't necessarily have to use the plan right away. But what you should be doing is putting the plan on the shelf. You know, if we had a 25% decrease in sales, what would we do? If we had a 50% decrease in sales, what would we do? If our biggest customer went out of business, what would we do? Right? These are simple what-if scenarios that you could run with your management team and build the plans. And now, in reality, things are not going to happen exactly as you plan, right? That is just the reality of life and business. None of us can anticipate exactly how things are going to play out. But, but, by running the what-if scenarios sooner than later, we can prepare ourselves to be ready for potential downturns, right? We can prepare ourselves... Uh, to adjust the business and having those plans sitting on the shelf uh, will allow us to more quickly process what needs to happen in a disrupted time um, so we want to get ready all right as always this is not legal or financial advice or investment advice consult your advisors uh, but the downturn now seems very likely, right? There is a growing consensus that we are headed into some type of recession, softening. Some are saying a depression. Uh, there are a lot of indicators that the financial indicators are way out of line. Um, you know, the number of mortgages that are past due, the number of car loan issues, all seem to be pointing to a very likely downturn and potentially a deep downturn, right? So it is no longer theoretical uh, that this might happen, right? It is seeming like a very real possibility, certainly a high enough possibility that in my opinion, that most businesses need to be preparing for at least the possibility of a downturn. Um, it would almost seem foolish if you're running a business to not be running some what-if scenarios for a downturn uh, to prepare for the long-term health of your business and to put some strategies in place. So the downturn now seems very likely. Uh, what does your business look like in a downturn? Uh, it has been so long here in the U.S. since we've had a downturn uh, that you may not know what your business looks like in a downturn, right? You may be uh, uncertain what would happen uh, in the event of a downturn. What does your business look like? Uh, do some what-if modeling, right? Pull the financial models out uh, and separate between your fixed expenses and your variable expenses. Uh, if your sales go down substantially, what would your financials look like? Uh, and what would that mean for the size of your operations? What would it mean for your number of employees? What would it mean to the entire business in a downturn um, if sales suddenly dried up? You know, it's scary to think about. A lot of people don't want to think about it. A lot of people want to keep try to keep the foot on the accelerator and keep selling and building. And I understand that notion. But it may, may not be possible at all times in the economy. You may not be able to shift your sales strategy quick enough or to find the sales if things really tighten. So you've got to do the what if. What would your business look like in a true downturn? And run through the numbers and the modeling of what happened if you know your major products lines didn't sell, right? What if revenue came down substantially? How would you bridge the gap? How would you survive? Uh, one possibility is layoffs, right? Um, some businesses are going to have to lay people off. We're already starting to see that. Many of the tech companies are talking about eliminating people. 
And this is a very hard decision, particularly for smaller businesses, more of you that tune into this channel. Um, you know, how do you say goodbye to people that you probably have a very personal relationship with? And you may know them, you may know their family, you may know their children, and you're going to put yourself in a situation where uh, you may be eliminating them uh, from having a job. And then they're going to have to go on unemployment or go try to find another job in a down economy. But it may be key to surviving a downturn for your business, right? You've got to Sometimes you've got to save the bigger system, right? Save all, save a larger group of employees and have to, you know, say that a couple of employees have to move on, right? That's just the reality of it. What would a layoff scenario look like in your business? How would you manage that? Um, what you want to do is have proactive discussions among your management team now uh, so you can plan what that process would look like, how it would be communicated how it would be carried out so that if you know sometime in the near future you had to do layoffs you would go back to your plan uh, rather than doing it quickly and by chance uh, if the pressure rose right so um, i'm saying you know if, if you're seeing the financial troubles already and some industries are you know you may need to be thinking about layoffs right now uh, but if you're planning for what might be in the offing and just dealing with the reality we may have a general downturn in the economy it is better to run through the what if scenario now and put together a plan uh, than to wait until it's too late will you have to close locations what would that look like uh, which locations are most profitable right now which locations cost too much uh, do you have good leases or bad leases uh, maybe not be a bad idea to proactively close some locations. Uh, one of our recent videos here on the channel, we talked about potentially closing a location um, and then, you know, consolidating offices together or closing an office completely or subletting office space, right? What could you do uh, to control expenses on the overhead of physical uh, space? And locations, right? Well, maybe, do you want to sell a building off now before potentially the real estate market gets any worse? Now's the time to proactively think about what that would look like. Which location would you close if you had multiple locations and why? Um, it's never easy to think about downscaling your business, but it's better to do it in an orderly fashion that is reasoned out. So if you had to close locations, what would that look like and how would you exit that? And for some businesses, I'm suggesting it may be time to do that sooner than later uh, to reduce expenses and to, importantly, reduce your real estate exposure before the real estate market potentially becomes even more of a mess, right? There's a lot of folks that are anticipating real estate will become a mess. Uh, this may also alter your inventory strategy. Uh, many businesses have built inventories, either voluntarily or involuntarily, right? You may have built inventory up because of supply line issues, and you want to be able to keep producing and creating goods and earning revenue. So you may have built inventory up on that side. Uh, you may also have inventory of finished goods that's involuntary, right? Your goods are just not moving out into the sales channel like they would. Uh, what will be your inventory strategy during a downturn and then what can you do to maybe get back like the old days of being more just in time a lot of businesses have moved away from just in time inventory where stuff comes in right before you need it uh, some of the supply issues are starting to sort themselves out uh, can you work the phones and get multiple suppliers for goods so that you can potentially survive a downturn uh, these are things that you might want to be planning now on your inventory strategy because inventory can be a huge number in a business, right? It can be a lock up a lot of cash and a lot of resources uh, that you could get nimble and deploy other places. So you may want to adjust your inventory strategy for a downturn. Uh, you may also want to sell your business. We are seeing some people that are just getting out of it. Uh, this may be appropriate for somebody who doesn't love the industry they're in, somebody older. Uh, this may be a strategy. So many business owners are kicking the tires of just getting out of the business, right? Selling the business. And so 
you need to think about comprehensively what will you do. And that may be best for you and your employees too, right? Uh, maybe you sell the business and merge it into something bigger uh, where the employees have a better chance of surviving the downturn, right? They could maybe become part of a bigger enterprise, have some more job stability. Uh, sometimes, you know, it's selfish to try to hang on too long uh, for yourself or for your family too, right? Your family's probably depending on your income from your business. Uh, so do you just exit it and collect the money? Now is the time to prepare. Uh, there is no better time to get ready for this stuff than now. Uh, I know it is doomsday, and I know it is difficult to sit there, but some of us have been talking for a while about the fact that this potential downturn is coming. Now the handwriting is on the wall, right? The downturn is potentially here. Uh, how do we prepare now for that downturn, right? And so what do we do now to be ready for that downturn? Now's the time to prepare, so go ahead Get your model together of what you're going to do. Run the what-ifs and be ready and be watching so that you can react to keep your business health maximized and to save your as many employees as you can and to help the general health of your personal financial situation. As always, not legal advice, not financial advice, not investment advice. There are a lot of moving pieces here, folks, and it is a tough time. Uh, sticking your head in the sand like the ostrich and pretending like things are not happening around you is certainly not the answer. Uh, the time is now to kind of plan and to look around and figure out what to do to maximize your chances of survival and growth and improvement. So start doing that. Uh, get your team together, huddle, uh, talk about what you'll do, run these what-if scenarios, make hard decisions sooner than later because that will contribute to your financial health. Uh, better to get strong before we go through a downturn than to let the downturn hit you, weaken you, and then try to recover from that. Uh, tough times, folks. Keep your head up. You know, Business owners are the key to the future really helps keep the American and Western culture going. You're doing great stuff. Now's the time to do some of the hard work, and it will pay off big dividends in the end. Look forward to reading your comments. Let me know what you think, what you're doing to prepare for the downturn in the comments below. And look forward to joining you there. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Give a like so others know to come check this video out, and I'll catch you again very soon. All right, talk to you soon. Look forward to reading your comments. If you have other video ideas, drop them in the comments too.